guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted anything. I have got some cleaning to do. Today was Monday, right after Thanksgiving break. So getting out the door for school was very hectic. So the house looks very chaotic right now. So I'm gonna get that picked up. I got some cute, cute, cute spice storage containers. I've actually had them for a while. Um, and I'm finally going to fill them up and organize. I'm gonna change up how I'm storing them. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys my like favorite, favorite, favorite crock pot recipe. It is like a salsa chicken. You can use it for quesadillas. You can use it for tacos, not like any kind of Mexican dish. We also have the leftovers in eggs and make a bomb like Southwestern omelet. It's very good. If you follow me on Instagram, I've shared it over there. A million times and I will continue to share it because it is amazing. is having too much fun taking all these ornaments off. I'm putting them back on the tree constantly throughout the day. They feel very thick. They have um, this and then this one that you can open if you wanted to pour out a lot. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so these are the, yeah, these are the labels. It literally came with like every spice you could ever imagine. It also came with a page to fill in if you had like a custom one, I guess, that I mean, I don't know how it wouldn't be in here, but I guess it's possible. So these are matte and they feel very like high quality. And it also came with a little funnel. Two, a little cute little pop out funnel. I'll have to look up in the link how many it came with, but I think it was like 20. I think they're like 24. Um, anyway, so I will leave the link to these in the description if you want to check them out. I think they were like 25 bucks, which is like a pretty good deal. We are going to start off with some salt, basic. Be careful, buddy. All right, so we're going to pop the lid. Pop. Put our little funnel in. Watch, Baker. <gasps> Baker, watch mommy. Let's not eat the cumin. Thank you very much. And look, Baker. Oh, Biggie, look. Do you see that? Okay, don't want to fill it up too much. All right, okay, we're dumping cumin on the counter, on the table. Thank you, buddy. All right, I gotta keep an eye because we actually have to leave. Look at that, so cute. We actually have to leave to go get Eleanor in 20 minutes, so. We'll see how much we can get done. They have popcorn salt, rock salt, sea salt, season salt, smoke salt. They got all the salts. And this it is sea salt. <laughs> got so far they are turning out so beautiful oh 
so beautiful. I love them. I love the way they're turning out. It is about time for us to go get Eleanor. So we're gonna press pause and I'll return to this when I get back. were a little too much to do with the kids we're making a huge mess i honestly only have a couple left to do and i'm gonna do them tonight when they go to bed so i got the ones i needed for the recipe done they're so cute they just look so so bougie you know um anyways okay so the salsa chicken what you need is two chicken breasts this will make enough for I would say at least four people, possibly more. Two chicken breasts, salsa, do a whole jar of salsa. This one I ate a little bit out of last night, <laughs> but this is honestly like my favorite salsa. It's so like fresh tasting. So you put one jar of your salsa in. Next we're gonna do chili powder. I'm gonna do the chili powder. This one is what I do um, like the heaviest. Shake, shake, shake. Go up and down like this. There you go. All right. And then we're gonna do some ground cumin. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good job. Oh, try not to touch the salsa. You're good, give it a little bit more. All right. And then last but not least, the salt. I will do the salt. You wanna do the salt? Okay. Angel. It does look like an angel color. How, how many I do? I'll tell you when to stop. A little bit more. Don't touch this also. All right, that's good. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. You want to give it a stir? Mm -hmm. Hi, Baker. Did you come to help too, buddy? Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Mm. All right. And then we're going to put the, put the top on it. All right. Ooh, put the lid on it and then we're gonna turn this up to high turn it all the way to the end mm. oh this way all the way to the end and then we're gonna cook for four hours oh so we're gonna cook it on high for four hours yeah. that's gonna be hot baby and then the chicken is just like so soft it just it just shreds so easily I'll show you guys later um, yeah. when we get to that part it is now two o'clock and I'm gonna clean up the mess that we've made from this and lunch and then we're gonna go get the boys. And then I'll come home and work on that closet. So bad. Starting off by pulling everything out of the closet and putting them into piles taking blankets like this one and putting them in a trash pile. I'm making a sheet pile, a blanket pile, a comforter pile, and then like a miscellaneous pile. There's really no reason why putting the sheets on the bottom shelf i'm just making sure to put everything with its light kind It's all done. It 
looks so much better. It's not beautiful or anything, but everything is where it should be. Things will be easy to find when I need them, so I'm really happy with the way that this closet turned out. about four hours and the chicken is all ready you guys can see how easily it shreds cooking it like this in the crock pot makes it so tender and delicious all right i am cooking the veggies for mine and sam's dinner get down Loki. while this is cooking i'm going to show you guys what i did with the spices generally this drawer held kitchen towels and pot holders, but when all of them are clean and in here, it was so full that it just wouldn't fit. So I decided I'm going to store my most used spices in this drawer because that's all that will fit. And then the rest will be in here um, as well as any extras and overflow. There's some baking stuff up there. And then after I wipe this off, I'm going to put my kitchen towels and pot holders there because there's just more space. That's like literally so much better. A lot of our towels are dirty right now because the kids spill no less than, I don't know, five drinks over the past two days. So um, once I get more, it's literally so perfect. Um, I'm gonna take all these out. These are all the extras. Um, just ones that we don't use as often. So I'm going to clean this out and store them in here oh this one does not have a label i need to find a label for this one all right so that's it um i got that one for my clubs put on and it looks i'm super happy it looks really good all my faves um our peppers are looking really good i put salt cumin chili powder and garlic on them um we like them to still have like a little bit of a bite to them so these are almost done and then i'm gonna make myself a quesadilla with the shredded chicken and the peppers and i'm gonna make sam uh like a chicken fajita nacho type of dish i'm gonna go ahead and sign off of this video um i'm gonna get our food all made i'm gonna sit down and enjoy a meal with my husband i hope everyone enjoyed this video if you have not tried this salsa chicken you have got to try it like asap if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'd love for you to come over there and join me. My handle is at Chelsea Mihawk. I share more of like our daily life with me and my kiddos, um, recipes and you know, all that jazz. So I'd love for you to check over there and join us. I will see you on the next one. Bye.